celebrating all of our beautiful apprentice here at St. Louis Artworks from the age of 14 to 18 with a combination of our pre-Kwanzaa celebration with the Red and Black Brass Band, the African Collective did the drumming at the beginning, and Mama and Joki did all of the pre-Kwanzaa celebration ceremony today. So we are just celebrating community, art, passion, black communities. Also, we are celebrating giving back to the community today. So I just want to say thank you. We all, as a whole culture, should know where we came from and, you know, what our ancestors did when, you know, their time was. The celebration of Kwanzaa and the importance of us looking at these seven principles and using them not just during the seven days of Kwanzaa, but throughout the year. It's a way that we can incorporate these principles in our everyday lives. We can change our community, we can change our family dynamics by looking at the principles and working to be them, become them, making them a part of our lives. Especially during times like these when we're really kind of forced to separate ourselves to remember that when we come together we build something strong and something bigger than we can just by ourselves. We're very happy that we could be here to support the local artists and we're supporting people who maybe uh, they don't get featured as often as everybody else and uh, we're just so happy that we can be here and support it with the music that we create and uh, this is exactly the kind of event that we'd love to be at where people are loving and people are caring and they're just here to support each other. So. This is a great event for young artists, especially the youth who have their paintings up. It's giving them an opportunity to be exposed to what it's like to actually sell your work and if anything like market yourself. Um, it's through building connections and relationships so it's a great opportunity for people to see your work and to actually see that other people like it. Um, this event is also great, especially for us live artists, to not only pull inspiration from the art, the pieces that were created by the youth, but from each other. I mean, we've been painting together for a few years now, and it's just a great opportunity to get more inspiration and get inspired to keep working. We are in a digital art group and we all designed this and all of these greeting cards. This one's mine and most and most of us have like some of our greeting cards over there. So like there was a Christmas one over there that says happy holidays and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. But like most of us like all poured our hearts out into this. So like our laser cut lamps as you can see. So St. Louis Artworks and the community are so important because it gives them an opportunity to perfect their craft. Also, they have to be able to be with an actual artist to basically mentor them through this program. So it's a beautiful thing. They get to give back, be a part of the community base, and also learn and perfect their craft. means a lot so a lot of them are able to channel their energy into expressions that can be accepted by others whether we interpret it all differently or not but just it gives them a different outlet it also gives them options to monetize their gift. The basis of community is so important. The fact that we are in the 5800 block of the Delmar Loop where there are mostly majority black businesses in this area is to, so phenomenal to give back, to continue to give back with the kids, the community, for the kids to be able to see that they can have black owned businesses and continue to do their craft. It's such a beautiful thing. So the continued partnership that I have built with St. Louis Artworks, the Delmar Loop, and so many black artists in the community is a great with a combination of just celebrating Kwanzaa every year, which is about community and the circling back of black love, black community, and the black dollar. <laughs>